Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. Yet another very important concept in all quantitative aptitude exams. You know when the price of a commodity is given and it increases by a certain percentage first and then uh, maybe increases yet another time or decreases uh, the second time. What is the net percentage increase or decrease in its value? Those type of questions are very, very prevalent and frequently asked in competitive exams. And percentage forms a part of the school curriculum, whether you are in uh, maybe class 7th or 8th, uh, where you uh, study the topic of comparing quantities. No quantities can be compared without percentages, right? So you need to be aware of these smart tricks and watch the complete video. I'm going to take up four different cases and I will tell you how you can find the net percentage increase or decrease in the value of a commodity directly without having to assume anything and without having to uh, you know get into all those typical traditional percentage methods right if you have not clicked the subscribe uh, button please do it now and uh, don't forget to click the bell shaped icon so that you keep on getting the notifications of all these useful uploads which will help you in becoming one of those one person top one person students you know who can crack the competitive exams by solving all the multiple choice questions within the stipulated time okay now let's get going and have the first case the first case which i'm going to take up is a case where there is a particular change like uh, say first we have an increase of x percent in the value of the commodity and then the second time the same uh, commodity increases yet another uh, time by say y percent so there are two successive increase in the value of the commodity so uh, you can assume like uh, um, 100 as the only original uh, value of the commodity and get the answer but it will involve a lot of calculations so how do you find directly and how do you do traditionally i will uh, tell you both okay so this is the direct method and this is what we do traditionally so i'm going to solve uh, both methods and uh, you will check how the direct method works so wonderfully well so what what am i going to do traditionally see uh, x percent increase and y percent increase so let's take the example where we have say a uh, five percent increase first and then a 15 percent increase the second time okay so these are the question this is the values given in the questions okay so traditionally i'm going to assume that the original price is say 100 100 is the easiest one which we can assume okay now five percent of 100 is five and so the value 100 will become 100 plus 5 that is 105 after the first increase now the second value is 15 percent so i'm going to do 15 percent of 105 now and that itself is a problem for so many of the students finding 15 percent of something that's really a problem you know because finding percentages will involve uh, use of so much of time and that's what you don't have in uh, the competitive exams and that's where the direct trick is going to work wonders for us so for this uh, this will be like uh, 10.5 and 5.25 so 15.75 so i have done it directly um, you may be using calculators or you may be using the traditional multiplication and finding percentages using traditional approaches so 15.75 so the value will be, uh, you know, this value 105 will now become 105 plus 15.75 and that will give you the answer as what? Uh, 120.75 and so the difference between this value and the original value will give you the net percentage increase 20.75 will be your answer for the question now this is what you do traditionally and this is what 95 out of 100 students are going to do in the exam they will get the correct answer but just think how much of time will it consume now let's see the magic the magic is 
doing say uh, this is x and this is y right so directly the net percentage can be found out using the trick x plus y plus xy by 100% and you will see how beautifully the trick works 5 plus 15 5 plus 15 is 20 and then 5 into 15 is 75 by 100 that is 20 plus 0 0.75 and the straightforward answer is 20.75% increase in the value see same value obtained through the direct shot trick this is only the first case when the two um, variations are both increase in the price so first variation is x percent increase the second variation is y percent increase and so there is x plus y plus x y upon 100 percent increase in the price of the commodity traditional and direct now let's vary the case in the second case i have the case where there is an increase of x percent so i'll uh, mark up, up arrow this is increase and then there is a decrease of y percent now let's see what happens uh, through the direct method and through the traditional method i'll do both so let's take uh, the value of x as say 10 percent so 10 percent increase first and second one is 20 percent decrease so if i assume the original price as 100 so 10 percent of 100 will be 10 and so the price will become 100 minus 10 which is uh, 100 plus 10 rather this is 110 so i'll just rub this off there we go so this is 110 so after the first increase of 10 percent 100 becomes 110 now 20 percent decrease so you will find 20 percent of 110 that is 110 if we, even if you are really quick 20 percent is one fifth so you will divide this by five and you will get 22 right yeah 22 so what is the new price 110 now this was decrease so minus 22 and this gives us 88 so net percentage increase or decrease 100 becomes 88 so 100 minus 88 is what 12 percent and since it became 88 it is decrease 12 percent decrease right now this is what we will do traditionally let's get on with the short trick i can do x minus y minus x y upon 100 in this case and look at the magic x is 10 percent so 10 minus 20 minus 10 into 20 upon 100 so this will give me a negative value right 10 minus 20 is minus 10 and minus 2 minus 12 percent what does minus indicate minus indicates decrease and so 12 percent decrease is your answer see the direct method and the same thing you obtain here 12 percent decrease right so this is the second short trick for finding the net percentage increase or decrease in price of a commodity let's take the third case now so in the third case i'm going to go with a decrease of x percent first so this is down arrow and then maybe another decrease say decrease of y percent uh, in the second uh, time and the second time also it is decreasing so I am going to use the direct method again and let's do it traditionally first by taking some values. The values are say 8% decrease and then 10% decrease. Okay. So let's find the answer using these two variations first. Initially it was 100. So 8% uh, of 100 is 8 itself. So 100 becomes 100 minus 8 that is 92. So this is first variation and then we have to do 10% right. So 10% of 92 is 9.2 and so 92 becomes now this is also decrease. So 92 minus 9.2 will give me my price after second variation that is what 82.8 82.8. So how much is the decrease the overall decrease is 100 minus 82.8 and that comes out to be 17.2% decrease right so this is the answer for the 
question this is traditional approach now let's see the direct short trick for this if i want to use the direct short trick i will be doing the sum of x and y and then subtracting the same term x y upon 100 from it i will get the answer directly let's put the values 8 and 10 so 8 and 10 18 minus 8 into 10 80 upon 100 so how much is that 18 minus 0 0.8 that is exactly 17.2 percent and decrease right see how quickly we are getting the answer and how much time you can save using these amazing short tricks okay let's get on with the final part that is uh, the last case in the last case we have a, a increase first of x percent and then decrease of the same percentage decrease of x percent okay so now there are no two values you have a single value so i'll be solving this using the direct approach and then using the traditional approach so let's consider six percent as the value so first the value of the item increases by six percent and subsequently it decreases by six percent okay now uh, guess what there is the answer is uh, the answer which most of the students will think oh six percent increase and then six percent decrease so no change that is the worst answer we can get actually okay so let's see how 100 is the initial price so six percent of 100 that much is the increase so that is six increase so 100 becomes 106 now this is after first increase of six percent now six percent decrease but six percent of what it is 106 now this is important six percent of the second quantity and six percent of second quantity that is 6.36 right and that is decrease so 106 minus 6.36 will get me the final answer that is 99.64 right 99.64 so the variation how much is the difference between 100 and 99.64 it is 0.36 percent now you can check 0.36 will be your answer takes quite a while right maybe one one and a half minutes for even if you are very good in calculations you will take at least one and a half minutes to solve this now watch if i have to do it directly i will do x square upon 100 percent that's it so what is x x is 6 here right so 6 square 36 upon 100 that is 0 0.36 percent again decrease in the value why decrease because 100 became 99.4 so it decreased and therefore net percentage decrease is 0 0.36 percent so four different amazing tricks friends and these are going to help you in cracking all the questions of successive increase decrease in the price of a commodity you can actually apply that to a wide variety of questions including successive discounts also when uh, uh, you know three successive discounts are given you can experiment with this now and once you get a very good base of the concepts you know it is easier to work on the concepts so i would appreciate if you solve 30 40 such questions be sure that you are getting the correct answers in the first attempt and saving a lot of time and then share it with all your friends with all the people who are struggling in quantitative aptitude so that they can also uh, you know save time and come out with flying colors in all those exams all the best for your practice friends